out for an amazing walk with my family along Bloberg Strand Beach, or Strand is Beach. And there is the famous Table Mountain. I've seen surfers, jet skiers, runners, walkers, cyclists. I'm totally in my element right now. also minding the seaweed because you'll slip on your ass seagulls my school one of my schools was so close to the ocean that we used to have seagulls on our field never really appreciated it for what it was also from one of my high schools i could see table mountain that mountain literally from one of my classrooms once again never appreciated it for what it was it's funny that sometimes when things are right in front of your face, you, you don't see them for what they really are, which is magnificent, amazing, extraordinary, beautiful. Sometimes you have to step outside of your life to actually see your life properly uh, and, and see it for, for the truth, for what it really is and what you can be grateful for. That's why I love running my event in Thailand you know, and taking people away on a coaching and fitness week or eight days in Thailand. It's because it allows them to see their life differently as opposed to being on the mountain. They're able to look at the mountain from far away and realize, wow, look, you know, look how far I've come. Look how, look how much I've achieved. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy. This is where I came from. I, I lived in this area when I was around, well, I was five to 10 years old. Uh, well, I lived further inland and I would hitchhike as a nine, 10 year old, I would hitchhike to the beach with a wetsuit with holes in, with a surfboard that had a chip in it. Uh, and I didn't care. And I would just come and I would come surf these waves. Uh, it was amazing. And it's so good to be back here and reflect on this. Oh, nature is intelligent. Wouldn't you agree, Josie? Yeah. And oh, so beautiful. <laughs> uh, there's my mama, where is you? There's my mom, there's my auntie. Are you enjoying the walk, guys? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. Can I find No. I'm going to throw it back because even though it's beautiful, it's still alive. So it belongs in the sea. Here in Cape Town is amazing. Every day, all day, dogs being walked. Morning, people walking the dogs, running, cycling, everything I said before. Actually, an interesting fact about Cape Town that I found quite uh, funny when I moved to the UK originally is that uh, in the UK, gyms open around 6 or 6.30 a.m. Literally, if that happened in South Africa, people would get so annoyed because people start going to the gym around 5 a.m. here and they do like one, two hour workouts before work. Actually, some of the gyms, one of the gyms that we're using now, Planet Fitness, they open at 4.30 in the morning. That's how much people love being fit for life here. One thing Cape Town's known for is very, very cold ocean water. Let's see if Jules can handle it. Jules, I set you a challenge cold water go on walk towards the ocean well oh, we gotta wait for it yeah wave to come in go now go walk 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 it's so cold <laughs> go on Josie Woo! my legs are actually like they actually freeze I uh oh I'll tell you what it is nice though Woo! <laughs> literally your legs freeze within seconds uh, when I used to serve as a kid literally my man bits would totally freeze like hey where are they gone I can't feel them anymore 